Hi, my name is Kayla and I'm going to perform NG insertion skills video today. So um, I'm going to first verify the healthcare provider's order um, and I'm going to gather all of my supplies. So we have a syringe here, we have a basin of warm water, we have a safety pin, we have a water soluble lubricant, we have some tape, which I've already um, prepared. We have a towel, a pad, an absorbent pad, and the tube itself. Um, so now I'm going to enter the patient's room and introduce myself, let them know I'm their nurse, and I'm going to explain the procedure to them. I'm going to um, perform hand hygiene and apply clean gloves. So after I explain the procedure to the patient, I'm going to have them verify their name and date of birth and I would check their wristband. I'm going to um, let them know that I'm going to have them raise their hand if they feel any sort of discomfort or gag um, as I'm doing it. Let them know that we're um, I'm going to try to do this as quickly and as comfortably as possible and make sure that it's safe to proceed in the room. Um, make sure we have privacy, close any doors and curtains. And I will go ahead and get started. So I want to first um, assess their nares, the, assess the patient's nares. So by doing that, I'm going to get a pen light. And I would grab the pen light, ask them to tilt their head back, and I would check both um, nostrils for any abrasions, um, make sure um, skin is intact, there's no irritation. Um, um, I'm going to also ask them to hold one nostril and breathe and then hold the other nostril and breathe and then um, whichever has better airflow, I'm going to pick that nostril to put the uh, NG tube in. So um, now I'm going to get my tubing ready. So I would grab the tube and I'm first going to measure to see how far I need to insert the tube. So by doing that, the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to get the tip of the tube, place it at the tip of the nose and the tip of the ear lobe, and then from the ear lobe down to the xiphoid process. Okay. And since there is marking, it looks like we have it at about, let's see. Did we measure that? Okay, tip to the earlobe, down to the xiphoid process. So um, I would say it's at about 40. So there's already a marking there. We don't need to mark it already. Um, if we didn't, we would just place a piece of tape there. Next, I'm going to place the tube in the warm water of the basin to prep it. And then I'm going to gather my lubricant I would take the lube, lubricant out, place it, and I would ga gather the tip and put the lubricant on it. And then we'd go ahead and get started, let them know to take a deep breath. Um, and I would ask them to, oh, we have to have the patient in the high fowler's position. So we'd make sure the patient is in a high fowler's position, if comfortable, if 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 it's tolerable. And so now that we're ready, um, if the patient is in the position that we need them to be, we have assessed, we've got the tubing ready, we're gonna go ahead and insert in the nostril with the great, uh, greater airflow. And I wanna make sure that the tube is um, kind of going naturally to what it's, you know, it's already kind of in the form that we want it to go. So we first insert it like this and then just kind of, you know, towards the floor of the, of the wall. And then, so we're going to insert it. And once we reach the nasopharynx, I'm sorry, before that, if we feel any sort of um, resistance, 
um, and they're uncomfortable, we're going to take it out and we're gonna lubricate it again. And then we'll just uh, do the other nostril. So we'll do the other no uh, no nair, and then we're gonna same thing towards the floor of the of the nostril, and we're gonna kind of just not go towards the natural movement of it. And for purposes of the video, I'm just gonna kind of grab it from the back here. And um, which once it reaches the oropharynx. Um, if they have any sort of gag, gag reflex or they raise their hand and um, we'll have them take sips of water. I'll have a sip of a cup of water nearby for them. So we'll have them take sips of water and I'm going to let them kind of lean forward a little bit and take um, with each swallow, we're going to insert it. We're going to push it further in. Um, and every like swallow will do about two to four inches that we insert it. So once we have it where we need, and the patient is, is tolerate, tolerating it okay, um, we're going to make sure that it's in the correct place. So by doing that, we're gonna grab our syringe and we're gonna aspirate. So we place it in here take a little bit of the content place it in a little a little cup and use our ph strip to test okay and then once um we tested that we would um follow facility protocol and we would order an x-ray to make sure it's in to make sure it's in the correct place once we've made sure it's in the correct place we're going to um whether it's um, suctioning that we're doing or tube feeding, whatever the provider's order is. In this case, we'll just say that he we're doing suctioning. So we'll at attach it to the suction now that we've verified correct placement. And we're going to document. So um, we're gonna document the amount of, um, suction that we get, the nair, which side nair that we used, the length of tubing and depth that it went in, and um, the suctioning pressure, so the milliliter of the suction pressure, whether it's intermittent or um, intermittent or continuous. We're going to document also um, characteristics of the aspirate, so, you know, color, um, amount and what's next? So we'll, yeah, once we've got everything documented, we're going to clean everything. Um, if the patient needs a towel to kind of clean up, we'll can them the towel and we're going to safety pin this to the gown. So we'll get a safety pin and make sure it's in a comfortable place on their gown. We're going to grab our tape and secure the tubing. So I kind of loop it around one side with one tape, grab the other tape and loop it around the other side. So it's good to go. Once we, um, you know, our patient get them back to um, a low position, uh, right, uh, lower the, the bed, place them in a comfortable position, call light nearby and we document everything that we did, cleaned up our area. I'm gonna remove my gloves, perform hand hygiene, and that's it.